Today in this video, we are going to learn parts of speech. But before we do that, let us first discuss what speech is. Speech is whatever we speak to express our feelings, to express what we feel and we want to speak about. And for that, what do we use? We use sentences to speak. That means parts of speech are what? Are the various parts of a sentence. Every sentence is made up of words. And these words together make parts of speech. In English language, all the words are divided into various categories. And these categories all together are known as parts of speech. They all have different roles in a sentence. Let us see what are these. Look at this picture. What is it? It is an octopus. And how many legs does it have? Oh, it has eight legs. You know, just like an octopus has eight legs, parts of speech are also eight. Let us have a look to what they are. Noun, pronoun, adjective, verb, adverb, preposition, conjunction and interjection. These are the eight parts of speech and I'm going to tell you what they are now. A noun is the name of a person, a place, an animal or a thing. Have a look to this picture. What can we see? Oh, I can see a house, a girl, a dog and I can see some plants too. Oh, a boy is also coming out. So, all these are nouns. Let us take a few more examples now. Oh, what can we see now? I can see Motu Patlu. You all like watching their cartoons now? That means Motu is also a noun and Patlu is also a noun. I have another picture here for you. That's India Gate. Oh yes, it is. And India Gate is the name of a monument. That is also a noun. And where is India Gate? It is in Delhi. That's the name of a city. That is also a noun. What is this? This is a laptop. That is also a noun because we call it laptop. Oh my God! What is this animal? This is rhinoceros. This is also a noun. That means whatever you can see around you and the name that you call it with is a noun. Moving on to the next one, that is the second part of speech is pronoun. Oh, by its name only, I'm being able to understand it has something some relation with the noun because it is pro noun. You know what? Pronoun is a very naughty child. He comes and kicks the noun away and takes its position. You did not understand? Never mind. Let us see what a pronoun is. A pronoun is a word used in place of a noun. A word which we can replace the noun with. For example, here in this picture, I can see a boy and a girl. What if I don't want to call him a boy? Or might be if his name is Mohit, I don't want to call him Mohit. Then what do I call him? I can call him he also. So he is a pronoun. What about this girl? I don't want to call her a girl or I don't want to use her name. What can I use for her? I can
can use the word she. She is a pronoun. Let us have a few more examples now. He, she, it. We use it for animals and things. Him for boys. Her for girls. They. So both of them together, I'll call them they. Them. We. Us. Etc. There are many more pronouns and we are going to deal with them in my next video. The next one is an adjective. An adjective is a describing word. It tells us more about a noun or a pronoun. That means those words which tell us how a noun is or how a pronoun is, is called an adjective, very commonly known as describing words. Let us take a few examples of it. Red. Okay, let us uh, use it in a sentence. I have a red dress. So what kind of a dress do I have? Red. So red word is an adjective here. Smart. Rohan is a smart boy. So what sort of a boy is he? Smart. So smart word is an adjective. Similarly, she is a good girl. What kind of a girl is she? Good. So good is an adjective. There are many more adjectives. For example, some, old, purple, etc. Whatever you are using to describe a noun or a pronoun, that word is an adjective. Moving on to verbs. A verb is an action word. It tells what a person or thing does, what a person or thing is, or what a person or thing has. In your sentence, whatever action is taking place, that is a verb. And very commonly, they are known as action words. Let us take a few examples. The first one, do. I do my work nicely. So what is the action being done here? Do. So do is a verb. Eat. Children eat junk food. So, eat is the action being done here. So, eat is a verb. They sleep at night. So, the action here is sleep. Run. We run in the park. So, what do we do? What work is being done there? Run. Run is an action word. Similarly, you have many more examples like advice, ask, produce, etc. All these are verbs. The next part of speech is an adverb. Now let us see what an adverb is. But you know what? By its name only I can make out. It is add something to the verb. That means an adverb tells us more about a verb. An adverb is a word that adds meaning to a verb. It tells how the work is done, where the work has been done, or when an action is done. In simple terms, an adverb tells us more about a verb. It tells us more about how, where, or when the action was done. Let us take a few examples for this. I do my work happily. So how do I do my work? Happily. So happily is an adverb because it is adding more meaning to our verb that is do. Here. Come here. Come where? Here. So here is an adverb. Tomorrow. I will go to Delhi tomorrow. Go when? 
tomorrow. So, tomorrow is telling us more about the verb that is go. It is telling us when this action will take place. So, tomorrow is an adverb. Similarly, you have many more adverbs. Let me give you a few more examples like fast, I run fast, now, then, etc. Moving on to the next part of speech that is preposition. A preposition is a word which shows the relation between a noun or a pronoun and some other words in a sentence. So basically it is a word which is trying to establish or show relation between a noun or a pronoun with other words in a sentence. Examples in, on, under, above, behind, at, far, over, etc. All these words are prepositions. Let me take an example for you. There is a pen in my pencil box. So your pen is in the pencil box. So this word in is showing the relationship between a noun that is pen with other words in the sentence. The next one is a conjunction. By its name only we can make out what it means. Junction. This word junction means a joining place. A place where two or more things are joined. So conjunction also means the same. It is a joining word. Let us see what exactly a conjunction is. A conjunction is a joining word. It joins words, phrases or sentences. Let us take an example for it. And that is a conjunction. Let us take an example of how to use it. Rohit is a smart boy. Rohit is intelligent. So I can join these two sentences using this conjunction. Rohit is a smart and intelligent boy. Similarly, there are many more conjunctions like or, but, because, if, though, until and there are many more which we will be discussing in next videos. Moving on to the next one that is interjection. An interjection is a word which expresses some sudden feeling of happiness, joy, fear, anger, surprise or any other feeling. These words are used to express our feelings and they are generally very short words. Let us take a few examples. Hurrah! We won the match! Hello! Come here! Alas, he's gone. Bravo, you've done well. Oh, I got hurt. Wow, what a beautiful dress. And interjections are usually followed by an exclamation mark. And with this, we come to an end to the parts of speech. And here I have something very interesting for you now. I have a poem for you on parts of speech. Let us read it. It is really interesting. Every name is called a noun. As tree and mountain, girl and town. In place of noun, the pronoun stands. As he and she can join their hands. The adjective describes a person, place or thing. As golden hair or mighty king. The verb means 
action, something done. To eat and drink, to laugh and run. How things are done, the adverbs tell. As nicely, slowly, badly and well. The preposition shows relation. As in the river or at the station. Conjunctions join in many ways. Sentences, words or phrase and phrase. The interjection cries out, wow or hark. It needs an exclamation mark. Well, by now, I am sure you all know what parts of speech are. But you know what? There is an octopus here. He wants us to revise. So let us revise just for this octopus. Noun. Pronoun. Adjective. Verb. Adverb. Preposition. Conjunction. Interjection. They all together are known as parts of speech. So, by now, I am sure everything is all clear to all of you. Thank you so much for being there. And bye for now. I'll meet you all in the next session.